clinically what we see is almost 20% patients are zero negative so once we call them zero negative that means our traditional marker which is rheumatoid factor and anti ccp as dr kaje has just told us are not useful so now what are we left with for these 20% patients so we are left with clinical judgment the landscape when we talk about lab perspective it came from rheumatoid factor to anti ccp and now we have a new novel biomarker which is anti mcv or the mutated sirtuin environment team it holds a very high promise that it is considered to be an early biomarker for the detection of rheumatoid arthritis and not only in terms of early detection but it has a role to play in the treatment part and then even in the prognostic part of the rheumatoid arthritis a lot of studies have shown that if treatment is taken at the right time the structural damage is less in patients over the next few years to discuss this we have with us dr ranjan gupta dr ajay gupta dr shalu bhaseen gagneja new biomarker is catch hold of an early detection of rheumatoid arthritis a separate panel with anti ccp should be done because parallel testing of anti ccp along with anti mcv is mandatory now both of these markers complement each other by testing both we will be able to catch hold zero negative rheumatoid arthritis anti ccp even though it is specific you don't have the sensitivity so basically one has a quality both of them have one quality but then there is a limitation behind all of them so we may miss some cases yes, that's exactly. what you all to say 20% percent. at 20%. 20% that's a huge number anti mcv as per today's literature and studies tells me that it can be positive in 40% of those 20% so means my sensitivity of diagnosing zero positive rheumatoid arthritis shoots from 80 to 90 i am able to catch hold of another 10% patients who were otherwise going to be labeled as zero negative anti mcv would bridge the gap of those 10 to 15% patients of zero negative rheumatoid arthritis so we would be able to make a early diagnosis second thing is because of the positive predictivity its uh, correlation with of anti mcv with the disease activity morning stiffness studies have shown that they are positively correlated so probably in the future it would also help us in monitoring the disease so i think that would be a game changer and it would help us in early treatment and diagnosis